Let me propose a toast. We only have water, but we do what we can. <laughs> to Rabbi Paul Silbersher, who leads <clears throat> Temple Sinai with wit, warmth, and wisdom. Too many more years. Happy Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. You care to visit with us for a while? Uh, well, it's not necessary. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I would probably like to belong to any congregation that would have me as a member. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Rabbi. Oh, you um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as, as probably many of you know, it's very difficult for me to accept. Roasts or toasts? Um, um, and it's very difficult to um, to feel that I have, you know, lived up to some of the things that have been said to me about me tonight. Um, but I um, I want to make some pledges uh, that may please some. Um, let's see. The first one is I pledge to reduce the text of the Declaration of Independence on, and not read the whole thing. I will leave out the right to dissent. Leave that out. Um, and uh, many of you know that we have high holiday expectations of um, an abbreviated Yom Kippur because um, we have a congregation of special needs. And so we have to accommodate for those things. Um, <clears throat> Thirty-minute services have been recommended by, by someone tonight. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I prepared this, I timed everything out uh, because we were having uh, a very delicious dinner, and I didn't want it to get dried out before the service was over. Even though I am a maximalist. And it's hard for me to leave anything out. But it reminds me of a time that I was uh, leading a tour to Israel. And uh, we were down into the Negev. And um, we were going to be introduced to something very unusual. There was a um, museum of uh, biblical uh, or, uh, animals. Um, and we were going to see an example in these various cages. And we took a look and we saw different animals uh, representing different times. And then there was one with a, <clears throat> a lion and a lamb in the same cage. And I was just uh, you know, stunned. People kept asking, well, what, what's going on here? Is, this, is the Messiah coming? Is this, this going to be a, is this, is this, is this the new thing? Uh, what, how, how do you, uh, a lion and a lamb lying down? So I, so I, found, I found the curator and I said, you know, everybody's been, been tugging at my shoulder and so on and so on. I don't know what to tell them. This is amazing. I mean, this is, the, this is what the, the, the promised Messiah was, was, was talking about. So the, kid, the guy is really typical. Oh, there's no worry, he says. Every day, a new lamb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, every day and every week, uh, there is a presence here. Regardless of the weather, um, I can always count on Marge Brodkin asking me where my coat was, and I would uh, respond, my mom told me not to wear my coat tonight. And it, it works. Uh, but to have somebody who is so concerned about my well-being on a regular basis, thank you, Marge. Um, as far as hugging and as far as uh, fist bumping, um, we must be doing something right here. Uh, maybe uh, both of them have a place. Um, the ability to preside in a place where there is no politics or are no politics, um, where we resolve our issues by reason and not by violence. When uh, people can put out an appeal uh, for someone's medical bills and collect quite a bit of money, considering we're a very tiny congregation, where people come and bring things uh, without being asked, uh, 
where there is a, a, an honest commitment. It is my honor to be able to be in this place and stand in front of you each week and trying to talk about, as Murray so eloquently spoke about what it means to be a human being. And <clears throat> it's a struggle. Um, Larry gave me this piece of paper and it says, uh, good for one more reading of the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> uh, I don't want to interrupt the flow of the evening. Um, and I want to thank Mike Shannon, who's just And I will put all my might and the concern in it. And she says, I'm not buying that. <laughs> and Richard is a, is a witness. And he, uh, he stayed with me, never missed a note. And Bruce, thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Deborah, thanks for the, for the candles. And all of you um, for being here. I look at the room and I see that. There's a connection somewhere along the way, whether it's recent or long term, and that um, uh, as we honor ourselves, we can honor someone in our midst. And may it be that uh, we continue to do that. And now on with the cake. Yes. Let them eat cake. <laughs> Let them eat cake. Um, as we're getting prepared for that, there are five candles in our gratitude candle, menorah, and um, I would like to welcome anyone forward now who has something they would like to share um, of gratitude for something that has happened in their lives or in the lives of someone that they know.